It's the first day of a brand new event here in Pokemon Go, and to kick things off, we have a brand new Pokemon, which I'm actually not gonna catch yet because let's Mega Evolve something. Steelix, we're gonna start with Steelix, Steel-type. Get some bonus candy on all the Steel-type Pokemon that are appearing during the event. And now with that, we can catch our new Pokemon. During the event, we get bonus candy and increased chances of XL candy for hitting nice, great, or excellent throws. So let's see how much candy we can get with a Silver Pineapple Berry, a Mega Steel-type Pokemon active, and an excellent throw? Why'd you have to do that? Okay, we get a second try. Don't jump this time. Easy, first try. What? Come on. Oh, of course, and now, and then now. Mm. Ha, I'm upset. I hit my excellent throw and it jumped out. Well, it's still worth, that was worth eight candy. A new Pokemon in the Pokedex. <laughs> This is Togedemaru. It's our new Pokemon, Electric and Steel, and those could be some potentially PvP IVs. Let's see. 1496. It goes to 1496. That could be good. And that is what it's going to be best for. It's not strong enough to be a good raid or gym attacker, but for PvP, it has some potential. So aside from the new Pokemon, Togedemaru, here are the rest of the Pokemon appearing in the wild during the event. The most important ones to catch, in my opinion, Magnemite, because Magnazone, especially Shadow Magnazone, is a great electric type attacker. Beldum, because Metagross, and especially Shadow Metagross, is the best steel type attacker. Drillbur, because Excadrill is a great ground type attacker. And if you're into PvP, Pineco, Ferrisseed, Bronzor, and Galarian Stunfisk can all be useful across different leagues. All right, let me try this again. Togedemaru, Silver Pineapple Berry, with a Mega Steel type active. Oh, that's 148 CP. And an excellent throw. And an excellent throw. Thank you. That's good. We got eight candy last time. With the excellent throw this time, 15. We need this bonus for every event. Excellent throw. Nah, Magnemite's always been difficult for me. Maybe that's why I don't have the shiny yet. Before we get too far into the event and I completely forget about it, we also have timed research for the tester metal event. Catch 25 steel types, walk two kilometers, make 15 nice throws, make 10 great throws, do something. Use 10 berries to help catch Pokemon. I already did that, so whatever that was, it must not be very difficult. So, let's keep going. Keep hitting excellent throws, and maybe... Yep. <clears throat> I finally found some event field research tasks. I have catch 5 Pokemon, catch 15 Pokemon, and catch 5 Pokemon. Let's find out what the rewards are, so I can decide whether or not I want to keep them. According to Leak Duck, catch 5 Pokemon is going to be Magnemite, Nosepass, or Ferrisseed. I like all of those. Catch 10 for Drillbur or Pineco. Eh, I like those a little bit less. Catch 15 for Beldum, which is appearing pretty frequently in the wild. But if you want one with good IVs, Field Research is definitely the right place to look for it. Power up five Steel-type Pokemon for a Togedemaru and evolve two Steel-type Pokemon for Steelix or Scissor Mega Energy. All right, catch five, catch 15. I'll keep them all. And I'll do it with excellent throws. Got it. Koops just invited me to an Aggron raid. Mega Aggron, the new Mega Pokemon. Let's go away from the water, it's noisy. I'm gonna join though, I'm gonna join. Mega Aggron is here in Pokemon Go. It's the new Mega Pokemon during the event and the best counters are gonna be fighting and ground because they're both double super effective. It is also weak to fire, hence the Charizard recommendation here. But again, fighting and ground are both double super effective. So let's go in. Honestly, I think this is one of the coolest looking Mega Pokemon. It's unfortunately not super useful. It's not uh, a great attacker. You know, you can't put mega Pokemon in gyms, uh, but, but it looks cool. We gotta give it that. I kinda wish Pokemon Go still just auto-recommended everyone Aggron because it would be so funny to see a lobby full of Aggron battling a mega Aggron raid. And we're done. Hariyama didn't even have to do anything. There we go. Koops, thank you for the invite. I appreciate it. There are no mega raids in downtown Long Beach right now, so that was very helpful. And of course, with every new mega Pokemon, it can be shiny. Not for me. Not today. 1692. Is that good? I don't know. Let's Silver Pineapple. Excellent throw. With a mega steel type active and the excellent throw candy bonus. And it's got to stay in the ball. Thank you. Pineapple Berry. Mega Pokemon. Excellent throw. For 31 candies. 
31 candies on a single catch. And my IVs are actually not bad. 200 Mega Energy is enough to Mega Evolve, but I'm gonna wait until later to do that because I'd rather have Mega Steelix active for one important reason. Drillbur, which is one of the wild spawns during the event, is a ground type. It's not steel until it evolves. So because Mega Steelix is also ground type, I'm gonna get that bonus XL candy for Drillbur along with the rest of the steel type Pokemon. And I'd rather get that bonus candy for Drillbur than have Mega Aggron active right now. Two research checks. This could be anything. Phariseed, not shiny. Excellent throw. Ooh, then another one. It's a fair seat again. And a Beldum shiny check for catch 15 Pokemon. No, how about some excellent candy. Two kilometers, 25 steel types, and all the other stuff later. I'm done with part one of two. Grab some Steelix Mega Energy. The Pokemon encounter for this task is Onyx. Can I hit Onyx with an excellent throw? And the final encounter includes a magnetic lure and a mysterious Pokemon. Togedemaru, of course. 905, not the Hundo. I don't know what the Hundo is. It's 920 nine something. I want to say it's 920 something. Not that you need the Hundo for anything other than your Hundo collection. And then part 202 catch 25 steel types, make 15 curveball throws, evolve three steel type Pokemon, make five excellent throws, catch five different species of steel type Pokemon, take snapshots of five different wild steel type Pokemon. There are none here. I gotta go find them. I have this seven kilometer egg hatching, which is perfect because it reminds me of another important part of the event. That was an egg from the psychic event still. But now that I have space for an egg during the event, there are special seven kilometer eggs featuring steel type Pokemon. In the egg pool, Alolan Diglett, Alolan Sandshrew, Galarian Meowth, Galarian Stunfisk, and Riolu. There was a time in my life where I would have bought a ton of incubators to try to hatch a shiny Riolu, but for this event, I'm just gonna go single egg, single incubator at a time, especially considering how bad the new boxes are. The boxes are just getting worse and worse. I stopped buying boxes a long time ago because I don't really raid that much anymore. I don't hatch eggs that much anymore. But hey, if you do wanna hatch some eggs, there's a, there's a pretty decent egg pool during the event. I do have, I do have some incubators. <laughs> I do, I, I do already have some incubators, right? It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I used the ones I already have to try to hatch a real, really? What? It? Sitting down for an early lunch while I wait for some decent raids to hatch. But the last task I need to complete for part two here is evolve three steel type Pokemon. So I'm going to start with a shiny Aeron. I still have not evolved a shiny Aeron. Do I have any decent ones? PVP? <laughs> I'm gonna evolve the first shiny Aeron I got, which I had to trade Ken for. Uh, so let's go get shiny Laron, get shiny Aggron, and then at the end of the day, we'll get shiny Mega Aggron in the Pokedex. Or shiny Laron, my first one. Give it another evolve shiny Aggron. Looks great. It's gonna look even better as a Mega. All right, and then I gotta evolve one more for the research, so here, a Magnemite that I just caught. Let's claim all the rewards. Two Pokemon encounters. Beldum, not shiny, 399. Is that good? It's decent, I think. Ah! I don't know what that sound was. I don't know what that means. And the other encounter, oh, Sandshrew. And then for the last step here, we get 50 Agron Mega Energy, 50 Agron uh, Aeron Candy and a mysterious Pokemon, Aeron. Oh, yeah, excellent. I'm gonna eat, we got a Mega Raid, we've got a uh, Ultra Beast Raid, which is good because I know I said Kartana was one of the most important Pokemon to catch in Pokemon Go, but uh, still haven't done one yet. Lunch is done and my first, this is my first Kartana Raid. Let's hop in, hope we can get some people invited. Sometimes I forget I have a wireless mic and I don't have to sit there in the sun. All right, I need to work on my fire type counters, but we've got six people. It's an easy raid boss. Fire, double super effective. Cartana, once again, in case you missed my video about Cartana and Celesteela, it is the new best grass type attacker in Pokemon Go. And it's only available in the Northern Hemisphere in raids right now. 
Celestela, on the other hand, is available in the Southern Hemisphere. So if you live in the Southern Hemisphere and you need Cartana, you have to make friends with someone, get remote raid invites. Likewise, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you want Celestela, it's remote raids only. Niantic said that they were gonna switch for raid hour and then later corrected that on Twitter. So unfortunately that's not happening. They're not switching hemispheres, but I did get to ratio Niantic support, so. The hundo here is 21, 20, 20, 20, 12, 12, 20, not, not, 20, not that. But I've heard it's a very difficult Pokemon to hit excellent throws on, and I'm up for the challenge. It's, it's gonna be a challenge. I might just go Golden Raspberry. These have been very difficult to catch. Hi, yeah. We're gonna get there. We're gonna find it. Cartana, come on. All right, maybe I just need to stand. Nope. All right, watch this. This is the one, I feel it. Is it good for a catch though? Mm, no. Excellent. I got too cocky after my one excellent throw. Let's slow down here, because I've already used half my balls. There it is. That was a good one. Please let me catch it. Thank you. I feel like hitting that excellent throw should just be an automatic catch. It's, it's not easy. Seven candies. Three XL candies. And a new Pokedex entry, finally. A few days late. Cartana. My IVs are probably pretty meh. Actually pretty bad. But I finally got it. As for the rest of the raids during the event, wow. Since I can't show you in-game, here they are on Leak Duck, Scyther, Beldum, Shield on Clink, and Toga Demaru. In one-star raids, obviously, Beldum is going to be a great attacker as Metagross. You're going to get good IVs from the raids. In three-star raids, Magneton, Skarmory, Mawile, Laron. Um, Skarmory and Mawile are both boosted shinies, so if you want to shiny hunt them through raiding, it's, it's okay. It's going to be easier. One in 64. It's still going to take a lot of raids to probably find a shiny, but there is that. And then, of course, in five-star raids, as we just talked about, Celesteela and Kartana and Mega Aggron as we've already seen. I think there's only one thing left to do, and that's finally get Mega Aggron in the Mega Pokedex. Let's go. Shiny Mega Dex entry. Still, I think, one of the coolest looking Mega Pokemon that we have in the game to date. The, the bluish green, it looks beautiful. Look at this. Oh, so good. What a solid design. Now, if only I could do anything else with it. It's gonna help me get a little bit of extra candy for the rest of these Pokemon. So that wraps it up for today's video. That is the Test Your Metal event in Pokemon Go. Let me know how you're enjoying it so far, and check out this video right here if you haven't already to learn more about Celesteela and Kartana, two very important Pokemon, well, one very important Pokemon to be watching out for during this event. See you in the next one.